Thanks for tuning in. I wanted to just give a brief update on the Sweep Wings flinch tail sitter build before the weekend. So previously in a video I demonstrated how I was going to tune this in the air and from day one I've had some suspicion regarding just the standard Elevons really not giving enough control authority. So I was actually trying to tune this, do a video in the air and just lost control. And one tip is when you lose control of these, just take your throttle down uh, to minimize the damage. So I was able to do that. I did break a set of Gropner props, but sustained no damage on the actual wing. And what I've done is I was able to go to uh, Michael's and get some balsa wood. It's been a long time since I've worked with balsa. Quarter inch thick, and you can see that I have uh, one of the Elevons mounted. It's actually double the width of the standard, which I think should be plenty, so that I'll have enough control authority in the air to tune. But I did have to bevel this edge. So originally I had everything hooked up. It, it was flush against the wing and I just didn't have enough uh, area to pitch down. So uh, I did use an X-Acto to just bevel that a little bit. And you can see on my left Elevon here, I'm able to go down quite a bit. Now what I'll do, before I get into forward flight is I'm going to uh, work on some of my endpoints just so that you can see that with that much surface area, that thing is gonna pitch up pretty hard as well as pitch down. What I will do next is I will get this right Elevon mounted, get everything trimmed out, go do the tuning, I'll share that, and then we'll be ready for forward flight. This piece of balsa ran about six dollars from Michael's and I bought an extra piece just in case I decide I want to enlarge or, or make these a little bit smaller but I have a good feeling about uh, the size of this and we'll be able to test it soon. Just wanted to share that brief update as I get some spare time this weekend to get this dialed in. This has definitely been one of my more challenging builds and configuration, but I feel like we're getting close and I'll continue to share my progress. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.